Alright guys, welcome back to another episode of Project Crack Pipe Project 4-Link. Anyway, as you can see, I got the axle on the frame. So the bump stops are gone. <clears throat> so my plan is to C-notch this, but not do a hump C-notch. So what I'm going to do, there's a guy local that's selling a, uh, basically it's just a hump inside here. And it's all quarter inch steel. And it bolts to the frame, but I won't bolt it to the frame. I'm going to weld it to the frame. Um, but yeah, so as you can see, that should be center of axle. And then center of axle over there too. So, anyway, that's about where it's going to sit. And I don't know, well, I've been trying to, I ran out of grinding wheels, but. So, as I thought that this is just welded here, here, and then underneath, underneath here. So, what I'm going to do, instead of trying to cut all that, is I'm just going to cut, cut this inside here. Right there where I already tried, but then my disc blew up. And then I'll uh, just cut cut wherever the welds are. Um, basically, so this is welded in here like this. So I'm going to cut on this side and then I'll grind it off. So, <clears throat> anyway. So right now, <clears throat> what I'm doing is assembling the arms... So that's probably right there a uh, good arm's length, I guess you could call it. So basically I ran this in, um, I want to say three quarters of a way, or uh, sorry. So this here where this is, getting all echoey because of the bed, but where that is, that's half of the threads. So... We got another half in there and the same for here I can show you real quick so like this here you can see that that's well over half the threads so what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna assemble these let's get one of these heim joints right here so this is half half the threads, as you can tell. So anyway, let me set you guys up over here. Um, I'm going to use my Olsa Tools Adjustable Crescent Wrench. I think it'll reach. Oh, you know what? It's not gonna. It's not gonna work. It'll work on that side. I'll make it work on that side. So anyway, I'm just gonna lay them on here. Let me uh get all these in here. Let me thread all these on there and uh, all the himes and everything and I'll show you what I'm doing. So hold on real quick. Actually you know what before I uh, before I do any of these um, I don't want these threaded in. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna grind these and take the TIG welder and see if I can't make these look a lot better. Um, these are, I don't know, I don't think they're all that great of welds. So, but like I said, you give what you pay for. So, let me grind these. Let me get the camera out of the way. Grind these, and then I'll come back and assemble them. So that it's a better, better deal. Alright, guys. <clears throat> so, basically, I just rolled it. Ground them all down. And... Rolled them all, TIG welded them all. There was a lot of porosities in them. A lot of just junk in them. A lot of holes too. So Anyway, uh, yeah. Let me get all those things threaded in. And then uh, we'll go from there. I feel more comfortable with, with them welded. The way that they're welded now. So, anyway. And then it'll just look better. Painted or powder coated. 
So let me put all those and I'll set you guys up. Alright guys, so you can see the before and after of the welds. So this is me TIG welding. Just a high spot. And you can see all the nasty pockets inside here. Anyway, this side here, you can see they already, they tried to grind it, but whatever. Anyway, I'm, I'm using uh, some anti-seize inside there. Some of this nasty crap. So I'm using some of that on the threads of, of the uh, heim joints, whatever you want to call them, and the other pieces. So I got one set to where I need it. Um, I did all four. TIG welded them. Turns out that uh, one of these is shorter, like almost almost three eighths of an inch shorter, and uh, that's the pan hard bar, which I already TIG welded. <laughs> that was one of the four I did. This one was the one that was all ground down, all nasty. Um, but anyway, that one's all assembled. That one takes two of those. So let me grind uh, this one here. Let me get this one ground down, TIG welded, and then uh, we'll start doing assembly. I'll be back again. Alright guys, so I got one. So I got these bolts welded to the table, just tacked barely. And I got basically all the washers. So this way, when you put that in, that falls in. You can loosen these up just a little bit so that they fall on there. So once they're on like that, actually I want to move it over so it kind of matches. So this obviously won't when you turn this rotate it because they're all right hand threads. So when you turn this, it won't spread out or come in like that. It's just going to sit there um, and keep on going in. So anyway, got my Ulsa Crescent wrench, which only goes to this side because it doesn't go bigger. So I'm going to take this jam nut. And this jam nut, and I'm gonna jam them together. So, anyway, so that's one done. I did end up retigging this, so uh, yeah. So now I just gotta assemble one. I guess you guys will see me assembling one. You take a I'm joint. I'm gonna thread it on until the nut is approximately where that nut is. And all I'm doing is eyeballing it. Okay, right there. Take some anti sneeze. And thread it in here. I probably shouldn't be threading it in this one because it's still hot. By the way, whatever. Oh man, it is hot. Okay, loosen it a little bit. Take this thing, just backing this out. These nuts, I don't know how well these nuts are going to work. They're like uh, electrical nuts almost. I don't know if you know what I'm talking about. They're not really, they don't seem like a very good secure nut. But again, get what you pay for. And like I said, I paid 300 and, I don't know, 32, 370 something dollars for this whole kit. So again, I'm just threading these in here so I do I am getting the hang of the TIG 
However, I just threw the foot pedal on there and now it's a whole new learning curve. So, anyway, just backing these out, lifting this one up, I'll back that one out. And again. Again, I'm just trying to get this lined up as best as possible and obviously getting anisees everywhere is awesome. So jam that nut, that nut. Make sure they're flat. Go. Push that one. Take this last time. Throw some a nut on there. Get it to about there. And some anti sneeze. I'm just I'm going a little heavy on the anti sneeze because of the. Uh, the fact that these are still hot. This one's not actually hot anymore. It's actually cooled down. But uh, the first one I did, this one, was kind of a pain in the butt to get it threaded in there. Kind of like this one's doing. So I'm just going to stick it in the vise and thread it in and thread a couple threads beyond. I know you can't see me. Just, I'm threading it beyond uh, where the nut is because, just in case I have to shorten it. Oh my gosh. You know what I mean. Take this one, and I seize it. Thread this junk on here. Anyway. Okay. Yep. 
and there we have it. Just like that. And get NICs everywhere, because why not? like that. All four of them are done. So anyway, that's it. You get the gist of the thing. As you can see, break these nuts off, or bolts off, sorry. Take them to the grinder, grind them up a little bit. Done. What are you talking about? I never welded these. So those are done. And uh, I'm probably going to get freaking anisees all over my camera, but whatever. It is what it is. Alright guys, got all those done. Got those cleaned up the way I wanted them. Look a lot better. Um, they'll powder coat or they'll paint a lot better than uh, with all them ugly welds. So uh, that's pretty much it. Get you put it off of here. Off the tripod. So, like I said, I think the welds will be a lot better. That's just a lot of anti-seas, but whatever. Um. Anyway, guys, that's going to be it for this video. This is just me assembling the uh, parallel arms. Uh, it's called an equal parallel. So they're all, the top and bottom are supposed to be the same. So anyway, uh, yeah, so they are. Now we'll get to uh, <clears throat> next video maybe. I got to grind the frame. I got to clean up the frame a lot. So I got to clean up all this because this is where, this is where it's going to be mounting to. This and then I got to take um, the shock drop downs. I got to take those off. Um, I'm kind of wondering if I can keep those. Hmm. Maybe I might be keeping those and running two bars. One over here, one over there, and then putting shocks in there. So, I don't know, I don't know yet. So, alright guys, that's going to be it for this video. Make sure you guys subscribe if you haven't. Like, comment, let me know what you guys think. This will be, uh, Sunday videos. So, alright guys. Thanks for watching. Later.